While the final chapter of Swastik Lloyd Family Stadium may be upon us, its story begins all the way back in 2007. App State Softball entered their new home on March 31st, 2007, after the recently converted Red Lackey Field, where App State Baseball called home since the 1980s, became a full-time softball facility. Their opponent for their first on-campus game in their history, former SoCon rival, the College of Charleston. And just like his old baseball days, the field became known as a hitter's park. I remember playing College of Charleston. They were one of our biggest games, one of our biggest opponents. They had some big time power hitters and the ball flew really far on this field. So that first game, it was a little bit of a home run derby. Year in, year out, the stadium got better and better with new additions such as moving the dugouts up and putting in new padding behind the batter. All of these improvements helped the university build its softball program. But well, all of that is just in the past. Riley, can you tell us about App State Softball's future? Thank you, Ron. With the App State Softball team looking to relocate their stadium up by the 105 lot, while the stadium may be changing, the culture they've instilled will remain the same. Culture is not easy to build, but these ladies have done it through their efforts each day while practicing at Swas St. Lloyd. However, it's what they've done away from the field that has defined who these players are. So obviously the, the growth is important on the field because we're here to win and obviously that's, that's why I was hired. Um, but seeing them grow off the field and seeing them grow as just as young women um, and in the classroom is, you know, that, that's so cool to me because that's, you know, when you leave here, you, we tell them, hey, we're going to bring you in, you know, we're going to compete for championships, but we're also going to, you know, make you a better person than when you came in here and yet they just transition. There's so much growth in, in these four or five or six years as in, you know, Thorpe's been here six years, um, but just the, the growth in that and their development just as people is just truly amazing to see. Just knowing off the field, I can call any of them and just be like, hey, I, I need help and they'll drop what they're doing and come help me. And I'd hope they know that I do the same for them. So just having that trust off the field, I feel like it's really translated on the field and it's just allowed us to be closer together on the field as well. So while this may be the last time you can catch a game over at Swasink Lloyd Family Stadium, a new chapter is scheduled to begin at a brand new stadium for the Mountaineers.